Months after reconciliation with Mwiki, top reverse politician joins APC. Details emerge. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our JC news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Magnus Abbey, the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, in the 2023 governorship elections in River State, has officially returned to the All Progressive Congress (APC). As reported by the Nation on Wednesday, January 3, 2024, Abbey, who left the party in the heat of the 2023 politics, said he is back with the APC to enhance the good things that President Bola Abed is doing in the country. The former federal lawmaker promised to mobilize his team and supporters for the party in the state, Vanguard newspaper also noted. The development is a blow to the SDP considering the stature of the sitting politician. Legit.ng recalls that in May 2023, Tinubu, then President elect, settled the rift between Abe and Yesum Mike, the current minister of the current minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. At that time, Mike, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, was reverse governor. Abe's political journey. Abe entered politics in 1999 when he was elected into the River State House of Assembly 7 as a minority leader. In 2003, he, defeated, he defected to the People's Democratic Party and from 2003 to 2007, he was Commissioner of Information in River State under the, gov under the administration of Governor Peter Odili. When Wotimi Amechi entered into office in May 2007, Abu was appointed as secretary to the state government. Senator Abe defected to the APC on January 29, 2014. In 2019, he aspired to contest for the governorship of River State, but could not secure the party's nomination. He then gave the governorship seat, a governorship seat, a shot again in 2023. Abbey recounts ugly experience. Earlier, Logic that NG reported that Abbey recalled how Tinubu was stoned when he visited the state in 2015. Abbey recalled how Tinubu and former President Muhammad Buhari were stoned at the Port Harcourt Airport several years ago, noting that it was the same place where his rift with Governor Wiki was settled and same Tinubu being the broker. Tinubu urged to give Abbey appointment. Legitus NG also reported that the coalition of river state leaders of thought urged President Tinubu to give Senator Abe an appointment. This request was made known in a statement jointly signed by the convener of the coalition, Sonny Shikumelo, and Secretary Josiah Onoriode. Abe survives gunmail attack. Meanwhile, Abe and his associates were attacked by armed men in river state. The attack occurred at Akinima, the headquarters of Ahoda West Local Government Area of River State. Politicians know they always stay. Uh, politicians in this country are always politicians for their own purpose. Hardly will you see any politician that goes into politics so that they are going to help Nigerians or they are going to give uh, what they call make impact. You know, consign them. All those plenty, plenty English language, you know, consign them at all. At all. How many times Magni Abe go carry broom drop pick again? Now what? You no concern your shy. Anything we like? And they say it. Ah, as a person, with a person, person, they find I go see now. So make him continue. Like I said, you cannot say you are actually doing this for the people. For no, no, no. Not himself. Not himself. In the do and for. We are supposed to be kind of looking out for such people so that if they come tomorrow, you can't say they won't join. One, they want this one, they won't do that one. You already know that these people, they are not coming to do anything. They are not coming to render service. They are coming to be served. So we're going to know how River State people are going to know how to use position now. <laughs> this person is not coming to serve. It is crystal clear that this person is coming to do what? He's coming to... Is the person the southeasterners will call Obiageli? He just won't come eat. He's not coming to work. He's not coming to do anything for the people of River State. It is crystal clear. 
uh -huh. politicians like this not then full not then full outside people who were who are joining different political parties for their own sake not for the sake of what they are going to give but the sake of what they are actually going to receive who is the top politician in river state the political traveler <laughs> there is a revolution in river state the youth are taking over the old brigades are only going to abuja for retirement and they tell you a basic paper tiger, he came a distant toad in the last election. <laughs> Somebody said a political prostitute. <laughs> if one party states can bring peace, happiness and brotherliness in Nigeria, let it be. The level of hatred, acrimony and blood that is known that is a multi party democracy with biased with biased INEC is heartbreaking. My dear, I don't know what to say about if one party can bring because one party is unhealthy. One party does not encourage healthy competition. One party does not encourage healthy competition. I'm telling you. Hunger bad. Please, I didn't say that Abby is hungry, but bros respect hunger mostly when like, you see Nigerian politicians. <laughs> so this person don't conclude. You don't see him. This person is clearly, this is clearly a case of I, I, I sincerely define what I go as in, yes, now. There is nothing you want to tell me. If I may ask this question, why is it that politicians cannot stay out of power one day? When they want position, they will tell you that the man in power is doing very well. Deep in them, they know they are telling lies just to satisfy the stomach infrastructure. Thank God, say you know them well. That is why you take their word with a pinch of salt. You don't hold it. Hunting for taxpayers' money, that is when you know that these people have no conscience and no ideology, no empathy. All they are looking for hustling is to lose money and that, that, is, not, that is not even useful to them again. And they tell you, and this is it. Shameless poli politician, Magnus, now today you hear this smell. Don't tell you, don't tell you, Ban organism in Nigeria is beyond remedy. We have a shameless, visionless politicians. Paper was rolling a stone. Whenever he leaves, his head was his home and he dies. Tribe of Judas Iscariot. All these things we care they do. Shame go cash you. Okay. Cash I'm servicing you. I'm guessing he's the next governor. Now then Sabi you. Reverse politicians are hungry and blind elementary in politics. I bet you're ashamed they shame me. Why are wasting Social Democratic Party time? Small time, we go run, go PDP. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.